For NICUs seeking to standardize best practices for warming and milk handling, Medela offers the waterless milk warmer to help protect the anti-infective properties of human milk, eliminate pathogens introduced through water warming, and provide consistency in warming temperatures. This brief presentation reviews the research and evidence related to human milk preparation in the hospital, as well as operating and cleaning instructions for the waterless milk warmer. Preserving the integrity of human milk in neonatal intensive care and other hospital units is essential to the well-being of preterm and compromised infants. When preparing human milk for feedings, nurses thaw, measure, and warm milk prior to administering it to the infant by feeding tube or bottle. Unfortunately, healthcare and laboratory research reveals that common hospital practices used in milk preparation have the potential to diminish the protective components of human milk and or contaminate feedings with environmental pathogens. Let's take a look at the effects of temperature and water baths on the integrity and safety of human milk feedings. Human milk, a complex bioactive living fluid, is vulnerable to temperature changes that can occur in feeding preparation. For example, if fresh, refrigerated human milk is warm to body temperature, but no more than 104 degrees Fahrenheit, important components, including secretory IgA, lactoferrin, lysozyme, white blood cells, and probiotic bacteria remain intact. However, when human milk is overheated, for example to 62 degrees Celsius or 144 degrees Fahrenheit, immune proteins are decreased, while beneficial bacteria and white blood cells are destroyed. Studies have shown that the higher the temperature and longer the exposure to heat, the greater the destruction of human milk's beneficial properties. Milk temperature can also affect the preterm infant's ability to tolerate feeds. In a study by Gonzalez and colleagues, very low birth weight infants were fed milk that was prepared at three different temperatures, cool temperature, room temperature, and body temperature. They found that preterm infants tolerated milk at body temperature best. At this temperature, infants had the least amount of gastric residuals and the greatest feeding tolerances. Conversely, preterm infants fed milk at cool temperatures had the highest milk residuals and the greatest incidence of feeding intolerance. In the hospital, when feeding syringes and bottles are heated in containers with warm to hot tap water or water from instant hot water dispensers, there's little control over the process and determining when milk is at the appropriate temperature is often inexact and subjective. Water bath temperatures for warming milk in surveyed hospitals average around 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature is at the threshold of diminishing secretory IgA, lactoferrin, and lysozyme, and destroying other protective human milk components. In facilities where instant hot water dispensers or devices are used, water may be heated to 189 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature capable of destroying many of the beneficial factors in mother's milk. Hospital tap water has long been identified as a potential source of nosocomial infections from bacteria and other contaminants, including cryptosporidium, giardia, E. coli, and Pseudomonas. As recently as 2009, 23 strains of Pseudomonas aeruginosa were found in the water supply of a children's hospital in the United States. In another report, Staphylococcus and Klebsiella were identified in hospital tap water used to heat infant milk. These bacteria were determined to be directly responsible for an outbreak of septicemia in the hospital's neonatal intensive care unit. An article entitled Waterborne Nosocomial Infections by Squire and Associates explained that tap water can harbor a variety of microorganisms, particularly in a slime layer or biofilm that adheres to the lumen of pipes in hospital plumbing systems. 
When this water is used to warm infant feedings, there is potential for contamination of the container, the milk, and the nurse's hands. In 2000, Squire and Associates recommended using dry warming devices to heat fluids that come in contact with patients. In concurrence, the CDC, in their 2003 Guidelines for Infection Control in Healthcare Facilities, suggested hospitals remove sources of contaminated water whenever possible. The CDC guidelines say moist environments and aqueous solutions in healthcare settings have the potential to serve as reservoirs for waterborne microorganisms. The Medela Waterless Milk Warmer sets a new best practice standard for warming human milk in the hospital. Specifically, the Medela Waterless Milk Warmer uses forced dry convection heat instead of water to warm milk. The warmer operates off a fan that circulates air over heated coils in the lid of the device. The heating profile is controlled by a software program and is maintained within safe operating limits through a series of thermal sensors and safety shutoffs. The waterless milk warmer standardizes the temperature of infant feedings, consistently warming milk to body temperature range of 30 to 38 degrees Celsius or 86 to 100 Fahrenheit. Use of the waterless milk warmer preserves the integrity of fresh human milk for vulnerable infants. In a waterless system, it's reasonable to expect that water bath-associated nosocomial infections should be effectively avoided, as well as contamination originating from tap water. The waterless milk warmer can also thaw frozen milk in less than 30 minutes so that it can be refrigerated for later use. The presence of milk crystals, which are left in the milk at the end of the thaw function, indicate the milk is safe to refrigerate. At the end of its operating cycle, the milk warmer alerts staff by a visual indicator and a low volume alarm. In addition, the warmer contains spills, minimizing cleanup time and the risk of cross-contamination between patients through the use of disposable liners. Liners fit in the compartment that holds the milk container or syringe. Each liner belongs with a specific infant. Lastly, the waterless milk warmer promotes consistency in hospital practices that can lead to overheating or underheating infant feedings. It's worth noting that the milk warmer also can warm formula feedings. The waterless milk warmer can be used with a variety of containers. It can accommodate amounts of milk in syringes ranging from 1 to 60 milliliters. It's also designed to thaw and warm milk in containers or bottles up to 250 milliliters, both plastic and glass. All containers, including syringes and bottles, should be capped and warmed separately. Warming bottles with nipples, warming multiple containers, and warming milk in plastic storage bags is not recommended. Let's take a look at the operation of the waterless milk warmer. The Medela Quick Start instructions are easy to follow. Clean the warmer between patients. Cleaning instructions will follow operating instructions. Wash hands before operating the warmer, opening inserts, and or installing inserts. Expand the liner prior to installing in the warmer. Bend insert at hinge and place into position. Next, evenly spread liner within the warmer cavity. Push tray, flat side down, into the bottom of the warmer. Now the warmer is ready for you to load the feed. Note, always use the insert tray to warm container or syringe. Turn the power on. Choose the mode or function you wish to perform. The warmer automatically defaults to the warm mode. If you wish to thaw frozen milk, press the Thaw button, then press Enter. Choose the starting temperature of the milk. Select either the refrigerator, room, or frozen icon. If you have already selected Thaw in the previous step, the warmer will automatically default to the frozen temperature, then press Enter. Select the volume of milk to be warm by pressing the left or right arrows. By holding the arrow key, you can advance more quickly.
Once the desired volume of milk is reached, press the Enter button. The warmer screen will flash the information you've entered and display the completion time. This acts as a safety check to confirm you have entered the correct information. If the information is correct, press the Start button to begin the cycle. When the cycle is complete, the warmer will make an audible noise and flash. There is an option to disable the audible alert. When using the warm function, the device will keep the milk warmed to the same temperature for 30 minutes. You'll be able to see the total amount of time, cycle time plus holding time, by the elapsed time counter. Open the lid and remove the syringe or container. Gently mix the milk when it is warmed and administer to the infant. Like all medical equipment, the milk warmer should be cleaned before use and in between patients. The outside of the warmer and the interior of the cavity should be wiped with an acceptable cleaning product. These are Cavicide Cleaner or Wipes, Sani Cloth Cleaner or Wipes, Isopropyl Alcohol, or Soap and Water. Take care not to spray or pour liquid cleaners directly into the warmer and allow the warmer and warmer cavity to air dry after cleaning. Please see the instructions for use for more detailed information about use, cleaning, and troubleshooting. This concludes our presentation of the Medela Waterless Milk Warmer, a best practice solution for standardizing milk warming in the NICU. Medela's Waterless Milk Warmer helps protect the beneficial properties of human milk, eliminates pathogen introduction that can occur with water baths, and provides consistency in warming temperatures.